We were talking about the extreme heat. Now, all, all the all-time record high at Kenner is 102 degrees. Now, going back even further, the records at Audubon Park go back to the 1800s. That record is 104. We could tie, maybe break the all-time record as we head into the next couple of days, mainly Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures could be at around 102 degrees. We'll certainly get very close, whether 101, 102, but we are going to be within the all-time record. Then we'll start to see not much of a drop in temperatures as the upper high kind of shifts, and maybe we start to see some showers coming back around. This is also, this upper high is one of the strongest on record. This is what is controlling our weather. As I said, it is what keep it what is keeping TD9 away from us when it was a little bit farther west. It's what helped to force Hillary up into California, and it's going to be moving south. Now, it does look like it'll be weakening as it does so, but as this upper high pushes a bit farther to the south, that's when we're going to see the better opportunity for for more widespread triple digit readings and the better opportunity to see 101 or 102. Now it does look like as we head toward the end of the week weekend, the upper high begins to shift a bit and allows for some upper troughing. What this should help to do at the moment, no fronts being forecasted. It was this kind of a pattern that brought us our front that brought in the drier air last week. This kind of pattern will at least bring in some more upper energy, this upper impulses that should allow for better rain chances. Not as saying we're going to be a washout any day, but at least some rainfall and kind of break us out of maybe that upper 90. Most of the models even next week going with the upper 90, so we'll keep us there for right now, but it also looks like better opportunities for some scattered showers. The heat dome continues with triple digit readings even into the high plains. Parts of South Dakota were in the upper 90s drier heat there and even in the central US triple digits we hit 104 degrees in Shreveport we were 102 in Baton Rouge and so today while above average the clouds and rainfall helped us out at Kenner north of the lake we're in the upper 90s and 100 degrees at Bogalusa and it's what's incredible this summer is that we so rarely reach 100 degrees we really don't very often get into the upper 90s at Kenner so far this month we've had 10 days of 100 or greater we had one day of 101 in July and also uh, also had a 100 degree reading in June. So so far this summer, still counting, we're at 12 days of 100 degrees or hotter. What helped us out on the South Shore again was the cloud cover and the passing showers. Most of that rainfall winding down. But you really can see the difference with the clouds and temp or clouds and rainfall will do. We stayed more lower 90s and closer to our normal high south of the lake. Absence of clouds and rainfall, upper 90s and triple digits. Actually, it looks like we topped out at 101 at Bogalusa today. We're currently in the lower mid and even some upper 80s. Factoring in the humidity still feels like the 90s. 97 is our heat index right now at Kenner and winds are uh, starting to subside out of the east at nine miles an hour.